The prickly issue of the widely disliked 2015 wartime sexual slavery agreement between Korea and Japan is something Koreans want resolved under the Moon Jae-in administration. A Japanese professor well-versed on Seoul-Tokyo relations says Prime Minister Shinzo Abe must make a full and frank public apology for his country's actions during the war. Our Connie Kim had the chance to sit down with Haruki Wada for his uh, views on the matter. Let's take a look. Thank you, Mr. Haruki Wada, Professor Emeritus at the, at the University of Tokyo. Now, I want to jump right into your expertise, which is the so-called comfort women issue. In 2015, the two countries struck a deal on this comfort women issue. What is your evaluation on this? The worst thing happened after the agreement. Prime Minister Abe made every effort to minimize the impression of his enforced apology and atonement payment of his government. And he never allowed to print his words of apology in the form of his letter to the victims. But I think you cannot deny the significance of the December 2015 agreement totally. So President Moon's special envoy to Japan, Moon Isang, he called on the need for a third way in this Comfort Women Agreement row. What is your take on this third way? For the time being, uh, the content of the third way is not clear. So uh, I think that uh, the special envoy uh, of President Moon Jae-in uh, conveyed all, almost all Korean peoples are, are not happy with this agreement. And, uh, what is necessary uh, from now on is to memorize uh, Japanese Prime Minister's new apology forever in public form. So a recent report by the UN Committee Against Torture recommended a revision of this Comfort Women Agreement struck in 2015. What implications does this have for the two countries and beyond the two countries as well? Comfort Women problem is, uh, uh, is not a Korean problem. This is uh, victims of the war, the problem of the victims of the world owing to the effort of the Koreans. This problem now has become totally internationalized. The United States organization's decisions have not power to exert direct and effect upon the solution. It is a recommendation to the concerning countries. We hope to see a new chapter forward in Seoul Tokyo ties under a new administration in South Korea. Thank you very much, Mr. Wada, for sitting down with us today. Thank you.